We are live up in the press conference room here at the uh, Clear Channel building in Austin, Texas, and carrying our press conferences. First of all, all of our affiliates, all 18 of them, and also all of the stations in our home city of Austin, Texas, carrying it as well. And uh, a lot of people, I know we've done some announcements before, and I said this earlier, joking, that I could come on the air and say, I've just been elected president, and our listener would go, you suck, that's a terrible announcement. So... I, I just kind of want to come out and tell you exactly what's happening first, that this Friday will be our last day of doing the Bobby Bones show here. So this Friday of this week will be our last Bobby Bones show here. And I wanted to actually address it on local radio to even all of our affiliates that we will not be on the station anymore and talk to you guys first before you hear anything else. Uh, so it is really bittersweet for me because it is something that I started and, and built from scratch with a group of friends, which I've been able to have a lot of autonomy that a lot of people in radio haven't been able to have, and mostly because they didn't pay me anything at the beginning, and there were no ratings at the beginning, but I was really able to put together a team of all of my best friends and, and do a really fun show that ended up being successful, not only locally, but also regionally and nationally. And if you're new to our show, I feel like I, I could kind of tell you how we came together, you know, in one of the more odd ways. I mean, it really was a group of, you know, 20-somethings that had never done morning radio. I had never done morning radio. They had never done radio. And we all came together. I met Amy for the first time. I was sitting at a restaurant getting my tires changed. And she approached there. And about a year later, she joined the show. She was just a, a girl I met at a local Culver's. I met Lunchbox at a bar. And back then, he was the delivery driver for Jason's Deli. And then Elena, Ray, and Carlos, all former interns of the show. And so you put all of us together, and you have a show that really came from not a show at all. I mean, when I started this here doing the morning show, I was 22 years old. And they should have never given me the job. At the time that they gave me the morning show, I couldn't believe they gave me the morning show. And I remember signing the first contract, and I thought... Man, this is crazy. These guys are so stupid to give me this morning show at 22 years old. And in the next year and a half or so, I proved them stupid because Lunchbox went to jail. I got sued. I mean, we did a lot of really dumb things. And somehow, we managed to, A, not get fired and become the number one morning show locally in Austin. And we have been the number one morning show by far for the past seven, eight years. And from that, and years and years of number one ratings... You know, we started to syndicate our show, and it started with just an internet box and uh, t talking to one general manager in Wichita, Kansas, and he, and he took on our show, and we really didn't charge him anything for it. We just wanted to see if we could win somewhere else, and so Wichita actually, they, they liked us there, and it was weird, and so that was kind of the beginning of what is now the Bobby Bone Show, a show that is syndicated in a lot of places, but we never... We never were planned to do that. We're not a Los Angeles show or a New, a New York show or a Chicago show or anywhere like that. We're just a group of friends from, you know, a middle-sized town in Texas that came together. And so, uh, to me, the bitter part of this is saying that Friday is our last show here because this is where we started and this is where we became best of friends and this is where we grew and we're really a success. But... That is not the end of the story. We are on to what I think are bigger and better things, and that's why I'm excited and thankful that all of you guys are here this morning. Everyone is watching online, and everyone is listening on the radio. So uh, another little backstory: A few months ago, I got a call from a guy who's been really instrumental in the success of, of our show on, on a national level. I mean, there have been people uh, on the local level. The first guy to ever give us a chance was our program director back at the time, Jay Shannon. He hired me to do nights here. And then he helped me do mornings. And now he's the operations manager. So locally, it was Jay Shannon. Nationally, there was a senior vice president named Rod Phillips. And he was the first guy to ever give my show a chance into national syndication. I mean, the first guy in the company to really believe in me. And so he calls and says, hey, you should come to Nashville. We have a lot of people here that are in town for this conference. And I think it would be good for you to see them. Because it's rare that everybody from our company, who is the biggest company in, in radio in the world, is in one city. So I'm as dumb and as oblivious to it as can be, and I'm just, do, 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 okay, going to Nashville. And, and I think it's funny because as I'm there, I'm hanging out with Tim McGraw, and we're in a room chatting college football for half an hour, and Lady Annabellum and Carrie Underwood, and I'm just like, man, this is so weird. I'm hanging out with all these country people. How cool am I? This is wild. 
And so as I'm like, well, when do these meetings start that I came for? Uh, I was called into a room by four executives from the company that I know and have began to trust over the years as our show has grown. And they sat me down and said, we would like for you to be the next big country superstar. And I was shocked. Now, growing up in Arkansas, country music is not foreign to me. I grew up in Arkansas. I grew up on country music on Garth Brooks and Brooks and Dunn and Tim McGraw. So I know country. But that really wasn't the career plan at all at the time. And so they told me this, and they, they said, we want you to be the guy. We want, we want your show to be the biggest country music show in the United States of America. What you're doing now is big, but what we have plans for you is so much bigger. And I didn't say yes. I didn't say no. I, I didn't know what to say. And so I, there were a lot of things I wanted to do before I committed to leaving this show, which I built with some great friends and we were able to do whatever we wanted because nobody really cared and gave us a chance. And then once we were successful, they were like, hey, you're successful. Just keep being successful. Keep doing what you're doing. I said, okay, there are some conditions that I want to have with this. You know, first of all, I want my entire staff. I mean, these guys are what has made this show what it is. So if I can have Amy Lunchbox, if I can have my whole crew, then we can talk. Because there are times when they only want certain parts of shows or certain people, and they said, absolutely, you can have your entire staff. So that's when I knew they were serious about taking our show and letting us do the show that we're good at and letting us really be successful and thrive inside of country music radio, which, by the way, we all love, which is weird. Well, when I told everyone it was country, they were like, awesome. I mean, especially Amy. I mean, she has a yeehaw at least once an hour in the studio. So starting on February 25th, the Bobby Bones Show will be broadcast nationally from Nashville, Tennessee as the nation's number one entertainment and country music morning show. And to tell you the truth, and the, the real refreshing thing about it is it'll actually be nice to go into a format where the artists are nice to you. <laughs> because they're not here, that really. I, we're difficult at times because I think they're difficult, but this is a whole new super nice group of people um, where they actually care about radio. And I'm excited because I get to take all of my friends, do this same fun show, and our show is going to be so much bigger than it is now. And so on top of that, on top of being the biggest national country show, we're also going to launch a weekend countdown show in over 100 cities as well. And that is just on the launch. And what I can announce now is that Our flagship station will be the Big 98 WSIX in Nashville, Tennessee, which is one of the more heritage country morning radio period stations in the United States, which I'm super pumped to be on. If you know about country music and radio, which I've learned a lot about in the past three to four months, I promise you, you know this is the station in the United States to be on. And so I'm super pumped to be on WSIX. I think we all are. Uh, The other ones that I can tell you about now, uh, Case 101 in Austin, we are moving from the station we're on now, KISS FM, to Case 101. We will be on the Bull in St. Louis, Missouri, KZSN in Wichita. We'll be on in Tulsa, Fort Myers, Beaumont, Tuscaloosa, and Albany. And all of those are affiliates that we have already now, so those are the ones that I can announce. And so to all the listeners that have made our show a success, you know, I really appreciate it, and I hope you move with us. Um, If you don't move with us, that's okay, too, because they're really putting on some great stuff behind us. But I hope you move with us. And, you know, one of the things that made it so easy for me to change and go from, you know, the top 40 format to the country format is that, and I think all you guys in here can attest to this, too, nobody really listens to just one kind of music. I mean, I don't know anyone, regardless of the station, that just listens to one kind of music. Everybody likes a lot of things. And so we really like country music. And now we want to go over there and do our show. And we want artists that are nice to us. I really want to say that again. <laughs> to have a community of artists that are nice and care and don't blow off phone interviews, uh, that's going to be so cool. Um, and I'm getting to bring on other staff members as well. Um, w- you know, one of my best friends is we actually started working together at YNN locally in town. Now, we worked at Emmy Television and then YNN, and now he has joined my show, and his name is Eddie Garcia. So they're letting me bring on the digital people as well as people that. I didn't get to have in the beginning. And so 
this will be an awesome journey and a job that I'm super excited for. And I'm super grateful to the company that they had selected us to do this. And everyone that's out there listening, I hope that you will follow us to our new stations. And if you don't, I'll probably stalk your Facebook and Twitters and send you very mean messages. Um, you know, it was weird how when I told everyone this, I, I was shocked. And then I got to go through the process of actually shocking everyone as well. And by the way, for just turning the radio on, Friday will be our last day of doing the Bobby Bone show on this station. But, you know, I pulled him into an office one at a time, and we couldn't tell anyone. It was all top secret. And I said, here, you have to sign this. It means whatever you say and whatever I say has to be kept into this room. And then I told them, we're going to do the biggest country morning show in the United States. And every one of their jaws hit the ground. Every one of them. And it was awesome because I know what it felt like. And it was so fun to watch it on other people's faces. So we have a lot of transition, um, but it's something that we're super excited about. And I want to let Amy and Lunchbox say a little something real quick to you guys as well that are out there listening and watching online. And um, I just am thankful for everything that you guys have let us do up to this point right now. Well, I was super excited because, of course, I love country music and I am just a one step closer to becoming BFF with Taylor Swift. (laughs) So it's kind of been a goal of mine and just being able to go on this adventure with this team. I'm super pumped, thankful for my husband, who's completely on board and supportive. And I just look forward to continuing to do our show um, just with a little more country. I was worried about Amy, too. And I she has a husband. You know, the rest of us are kind of losers. We're not married. And so I know that to get Amy, you've got to get her husband. And luckily, he has a job where he flies that he was so supportive in the whole thing. And uh, that's awesome. And, and, you know, that was one of my real concerns was if Amy doesn't go, am I even going to go? I really thought about that. And that's how important these guys are to me to be able to go and do this show. Here's Lunchbox. Bobby tricked me. He pulled me in the room and he said, you need to sign this sheet. And it was a thing I couldn't talk about it. And then he goes, now that you signed it, I can tell you I'm leaving. And just sat there and stared at me. I was like, well, crap, I need to find a job. Jason's Deli, are you hiring? And finally he broke the silence and said, I want you to go with me. And I was just like, oh, thank God. I mean, I'm famous, but now that we're going to Nashville, more cities, I'm going to be even more famous. I was like, I'm in. Let's do it. Only problem is my mom goes with with me to every doctor's appointment, and that's not going to happen anymore, and that kind of made me sad. So that's the only crappy part about it. That's it. I'm ready. That's about all I know. So just to kind of recap, Friday will be our last day on the air. We'll have a week totally off. Then we start on the 18th or 19th on WSIX in Nashville for one week. And that week will be for us just to kind of get in and, and get started and feel loose. And then we start on all of our affiliates that next week on the 25th. And there'll be a lot more information coming out about that. Um, just wanted to share with the people that can hear us now if we're going to be on where you are, which is Austin, St. Louis, Wichita, Tulsa, Fort Myers, Beaumont, Tuscaloosa, and Albany. If you're one of our affiliates that's listening, that we didn't call your city, sorry. For now, I don't, you never know, but I, you know, sorry. Uh, hopefully you can find us on iHeartRadio. We'll still have our Bobby Bone Show channel, and you can listen to our show on iHeartRadio right there. So thank you guys for waking up with us this morning and sharing our exciting news. 